Hi, I'm Ali, and in this tutorial, we'll look at our data and learn how to export these values. While all the simulations we ran before provide shading and color coding of the buildings to give a rough feel for how different buildings perform relative to each other, numerical data analysis can also be performed. Here, I've taken the UMI file that we're working on, the same model of the neighborhood that we ran our simulations on, and I've reran the operational energy calculation. This time, I've used the same template for all the buildings. However, I've used a different window-to-wall ratio for each row. Here we have 10% window-to-wall ratio, 20%, 40%, 60%, and 80%. If you go to the Simulate tab, just as we did before under Operational Energy, and you click on a building, you'll get the value for how much energy it uses. And you can see as the window-to-wall ratio increases, so, uh, so does the operational energy use of the building. Now let's say if we want to see these values numerically and analyze them further on. We go to the results tab up here, and there are two tabs you can see. One is series, one is not series. Clicking on total energy series, you can see the five different window to wall ratios represented here in the graphs. This is a sum of all the buildings that have that specific window to wall ratio represented in one curve. Of course, there are five different uh, settings. If you click on one one data point, UMI will automatically zoom into that building so you can see which one is producing that result. If you click on separate in multi-select behavior and click on a building, you'll see the profile for that specific building and you can see the differences between them. If you go, if you want to export these values, say this, this sum grab, you can hit export display data and UMI will export this as a .csv file which you can take and later analyze in a program such as Excel. In non-series behavior, you can analyze the differences between certain indicators, how if there are certain patterns or proportionalities between them. Here we've hit the total energy being displayed on the y-axis and as a product of the different buildings. And you can see that each of the window-to-wall ratios is one of these steps going up. So as the window-to-wall ratio increases, the building's energy use increases as is represented in this chart. You can also export this same process as before. Now, of course, as your patterns, as your interaction between indicators gets more complex, your model gets more complex, you have more interesting data and more things to analyze. Now you can control S, save the model. You can close Rhino. And we're done with this. So I hope after these tutorials, you've had a better sense of how to perform basic operations with UMI and how you can turn the results you get from UMI into concrete design solutions, iterations, modifications, and interventions that actually improve the operational energy, embodied energy, and mobility of the given urban environment.